Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It's your boy, Matt Retro25. And today I'm going to bring you my review of the Air Jordan 4 Union Topaz. I actually won these off the raffle from Union LA. This was a very uh, sought after shoe. This is a more sought after one out of the two shoes that released. Um, this was one of the better releases this year, in my opinion. I know a lot of people were upset because um, they it took them a while to get back to us, but my thing is a W for retail is a W because nowadays it's hard to get something for retail. Most of the time, most shoes and shoe releases, you have to pay resale because the raffles are so bodied up, it's impossible to win. Or the shoe is so backdoored, like another release that I'm not going to get into right now, but the shoe is so backdoored that you don't have a chance to get it. So I'm just happy for the fact that I want a raffle on a shoe that I actually want. I want it that I didn't have to pay resale for. Um, the last shoe that I picked up this year that I didn't pay resale for was the Air Jordan 1 UNC and then the Air Jordan 5 Raging Bull. Those were like the only, oh, and the uh, LeBron 7 Dodgers. Those were like the only raffles that I won all year that I didn't have, you know, or shoe that I won that I didn't have to pay resale for. So getting a shoe like this for retail is a huge W. Um, this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to make this real fast. Uh, I just went and saw Space Jam. If you haven't seen that movie, go check it out. Uh, if you got HBO Max, just watch it. Um, I went for the full effect, went in theaters, man, and I love that movie. It's probably my favorite movie that dropped this year. And I did see like Fast and Furious, uh, Kong vs. Godzilla. Um... Let's see, Black Widow and Space Jam is just is one of those movies, man, that I really enjoy. And I feel like y'all should go check it out. But back to the back to the review, back to the review. This is the front of the box. It's uh Jordan shooting a shot, and you know, he has like the he has like a union logo on the top of the box. Um this is gonna be a very quick review, man, because this I gotta get to wrestling too. If you anybody knows me, I'm a huge wrestling fan. And this is the first night that the fans are back in the crowd, so I gotta make this a quick video. But I will go over everything about the shoe. Let's get into it. Back to what I was saying about the box, guys. This is the top of the box. You see Jordan shooting a shot with the Union across the top of the box. On the side, you got that size tag label. Retail for the shoe is $225, which I said is another W, man. Retail, Air Jordan 4. And the label reads, Air Jordan 4 Retro SP, Topaz Blue Fury Khaki. Um, my size is a size 10 and a half, so this is a personal pair. And let's get into it. Now, what they'd like to do with these Union releases is they like to give us like special, special packaging for the shoe. Um, for example, look at this paper. It's got Jordan on the paper. You know, very premium paper. I know it don't sound like much, but it's definitely premium paper. And you can tell they use premium materials just for like everything about this box. I mean, everything about this shoe. So... Starting with the paper, they got this paper right here. And then they got this paper, you know, it's just Jordan. And they got this standard white paper on the inside of that. And then there is the shoe. You know how they like to do these union releases for the Jordan 4. Get into the shoe. These are the shoes right here. You can tell they got that premium vibe to them. Um, you now they like to turn the turn this part of the shoe down, the tongue of the shoe down, and it says Air Jordan in this uh, blue. In this, let me double check on the blue one more time. In this teal color blue, it's a uh, Blue Fury. In this Blue Fury color. You got the tongue turned down. Me, when I finally rock these, I'm definitely like pulling up the tongue. I know it's been done before. And they come with these khaki-ish color laces. It comes with this 30, 30th anniversary hang tag. And then it comes with your Union hang tag. Your Union Jordan Jumpman hang tag. That's 
Now these are fit like your standard. A lot of you like these fit like your standard Jordan 4. But when I tried them on, they felt like a little bit better around the toe. Because that's my one grief with the Jordan 4 is they have to be broken in and you have to like wear them out like a little bit around the toe to like where it forms around your foot. Um, I always go up half a size in Jordan 4s. Um, my true size is a 10, but in all like Nike basketball, Jordan 4s, I go up half a size. This is the back side of the shoe. This is the heel of the shoe that gave us that Nike Air treatment, which is very dope. And that Blue Fury for the Nike and then the check and the swoosh. And then in the air, they also gave us that Blue Fury. Then they give us this green that goes here on the back tab. The materials on these are very nice. And the, another thing they did was, you know, on most Jordan 4s, this is cut out and there's an open spot. On this one, they filled it out. But I'm I'm not going to change that. Like, the only thing I'm probably going to change is the laces. And I am definitely pulling the tongue out, like I said. So, this is the shoe. This is the bottom of the shoe. Very standard Jordan 4, but, like, the materials to me, this mesh right here is real soft. In my opinion, this mesh is real soft. And the suede on here is not the best suede I've seen on a Jordan, but it's still a pretty dope suede. The inside of the shoe. And that was the left shoe. On the right shoe, it comes with these blue laces, which I'm definitely putting in. I'm definitely going to change out these laces. I, I hardly ever keep my laces the same. I always get a little crazy with my laces, but that's just me. But uh, this is the shoe. This is the right shoe. I like this material they put on the toe box, too. I feel like it's not going to crease up as much. But we'll see after some wears. But I definitely got to watch a, a DIY video on like how to unlace the tongue. Because I definitely am. But that's that's it with the shoe. They got this little UN, or Union slash LA tag right here. And at first I was thinking about like selling these. Because there's some other stuff I want to buy that's coming out. But I'm actually starting to get into like a good place right now to stop like copping more shoes. So I'm definitely going to start. I'll probably end up keeping these because I hardly ever win a raffle. So I don't think I'm going to sell these. Um, but this is the shoe. This is the Air Jordan 4 Union Topaz. And like I said, this was a colorway I was really wanting. Um, I know the Desert Moss is a, a lot of people like that colorway better than these. But I like this colorway. Um, it can be, you can dress it down. It can be real subtle by, you know keeping the tongue down and not changing out the laces or you can do like me for something that's like you want to bring that pop to it and I'm definitely bringing out those blue laces these blue laces are definitely coming out for me and this tongue is definitely being flipped up in my personal opinion and I think that this shoe is it's a good union four but I don't think it's the best union four the best union four is probably the off nowhere and then the guava and then I would say it's these but these are still fire um, the guava is just like the ultimate like summer, spring type shoe. And then to me, the off nowhere is a shoe that you can wear probably all year round and it still give you that good vibe. The Desert Moss to me is just like my least favorite one. But these were definitely the two, my favorite one out of the two that dropped. And I'm so happy to win a raffle on these because I never, I'm telling you like trophy room raffles, um, any like online raffles like that, I never win. All my raffles I typically win are like in store. Sometimes I hit on sneakers, but we all know how that is. That game, is, I don't even know what's going on with sneakers. I know they changed all their releases to raffles, but I haven't won anything off sneakers since they've done the raffles, except for the LeBron, um, the LeBron 7 Media Day. And then there was also... I used to hit on the Travis Scott's all the time. Uh, the Travis Scott 6, the green pair, I hit on. The the British khaki pair didn't come close. Um, the dunks I didn't come close on. But the Travis Scott 1s, the Travis Scott, uh, I didn't go for the 4s. The Air Force 1s I won on the raffle. But those raffles are so hard to win 
But this Jordan 4 is very is a very dope colorway. And like I said, this shoe is fire. It's a dope shoe. It's not my favorite. Like Alice, like I said, it's not my favorite out of all the Union Jordan 4s, but it's definitely, definitely, you know, still a fire shoe. And I'm happy that I got this shoe and I got it for retail. That's like the biggest thing about the shoes. I got a shoe like this for retail. I hardly, I'd never get a shoe like this for retail. From Off Whites, um, from Off Whites, I don't get off retail. Travis Scott's here lately. I ain't hitting for retail, but hopefully, I at least get a low, a Travis Scott one low for retail, or the Fragment for retail. If not, then I might have to come up off, you know, some resale. But uh, thank y'all for checking me out today. Y'all have a blessed day. And uh, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to leave my Instagram down in the description. Go follow me on there for some on feats and some fit, some fit pictures. So, yeah, I'll check y'all out in the next video.